Today we have is this voice assistant hardware preview edition from Home Assistant. It provides voice assistance, timer functionality, ability to adjust volume as well as to automate the button in Home Assistant. It comes in this simple looking box with a sticker, getting started guide, warranty and safety information and finally we have the voice assistant device. It's a nice looking device that has a shiny top surface and a semi translucent side and bottom. It costs about $59 which is pretty much in line with the other smart home speakers out there but this device runs completely local with home assistant. It's mainly focused on privacy of your data that is any command that you give to this device runs locally and this data is not shared with any third party data brokers. Now another important factor about this device is that you can customize the device the way you like it. For example, you can choose a bunch of wake words to activate the device. You can also press a center button to activate the device without using the wake word. It also has a scroll wheel that can be used to increase and decrease the volume of this device. Now this scroll wheel has a nice subtle rotatory click feedback while you move the scroll wheel. It also has this LED ring light that lights up when the device is listening and you can change the color of this LED using home assistant. You can also change the color of the ring light by pressing the center button and moving the scroll wheel. Now you can also use this LED ring light in your automation as a notification light. The center button provides single press, double press, triple press and press and hold options that you can automate using home assistant. It also has this dual microphones for better voice input and also has a physical mute button that completely disconnects the mic. Now this device is powered using a USB-C cable and it also has a 3.5mm audio output jack. It also has this speaker which is good for voice response and you can play music on it but the sound quality is not that great. You can use this 3.5mm jack to redirect the audio to some better speakers. Here is a sample audio output. As with the open home foundation, home assistant devs want this device to be sustainable over time. Hence this device can be opened easily by taking out these rubber inserts and then removing the screws with a screwdriver. This provides an easier access to its internal and promotes repairability. It also has this grove port to which you can add more sensors to it and expand the capabilities of this device. Now this device makes use of an ESP32 S3 with 16 MB of flash storage and 8 MB of PS RAM. It also has this Xmox X U316 chip that helps with echo cancellation and noise removal. For connectivity, it connects via 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and has Bluetooth 5.0. Now this device already comes with working software and it works out of the box, but you can change the functionality by taking control of this device using ESP Home. This is really cool for anyone who wants to further personalize the device and modify its functionality. Let's look at how we can set this up with Home Assistant. Once you power the device, it gets detected in Home Assistant via Bluetooth. You can then click on Add and it will ask you to enter the Wi-Fi credentials. It will then ask you to press the center button for authorization and the device will start connecting to the Wi-Fi. Once it connects, follow the link to connect the device to your home assistant. In my case, I had to add the IP address with which the device connected to the Wi-Fi and then it updated the device with a pending update. Finally, the device is ready to be set up. I then chose to change the wake word as Hey Mycroft and selected the area. Next, you can select Home Assistant Cloud to set up your voice assist pipeline or you can go completely local with setting up your voice assist pipeline with local components. First of all, we have this media player to play some media on the device speakers. Then we have this button press option with which if you press, you can invoke the voice assist pipeline. Then here we can change the voice assist pipeline. Followed by that, we have this LED ring option wherein we can turn on the LED ring and then also we can change the color of the LED ring as per our liking. Then we have this mute button so that it does not listen to your voice commands. 
Then we have this option to disable playing of a sound when it detects the wake word. And then finally we have this option in order to change the wake word as per our liking. Now if you don't have a Bluetooth configured with your home assistant instance, then you can make use of a Bluetooth proxy for this initial setup. Now I myself run home assistant as a Docker container and using this Bluetooth proxy, I was able to detect this device. Now I have a video here wherein I have shown you how you can create this Bluetooth proxy. Now in this past year, I have created many voice assistant hardways right from ESP32 to ESP32 S3 with on-device wake word, then the re-speaker light voice assistant with on-device wake word, and finally now I have this voice assistant preview edition. Now if you like to see how I created those voice assistants, then check all those videos out on my channel and I will also link them in the video description below. Now I'm currently exploring a way with which the speech to text conversion can happen within a second using another add-on on a hardware like a Raspberry Pi 5. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to see the full video once it is out. Now if you like to see such videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Also you can support my work via Patreon or you can just buy me a coffee. Till then take care and I will see you in my next one.